Hi, welcome to the SciGym video series. Today we're going to be talking about combating spam. Specifically, we're going to be contrasting a spam filtering service versus a traditional on-premise based approach and cover some of the differences and see why you may want to use one solution over the other. So first we'll do a little whiteboarding. Uh, on the left here we have the bad guy that is sending uh, email. He's hijacked somebody's server and he's now sending uh, bad emails across the internet and unfortunately he has targeted SciGem and he now wants to send us all of our this bad email to our servers. So this is our mail server here, the big S, and uh, there's a couple different ways people have used on-premise based solutions. One is uh, they've installed uh, local software on their server itself uh, to do some of the processing. Uh, sometimes this can be start to be a little bit slow. The processing of the spam can take CPU cycles away from the server. So another on-premise based solution uh, is what's called a gateway device. So someone will install a gateway server. It does all the processing of spam from the internet and then delivers it to the server. Another model that has started to become popular in the recent years is what's called a spam filtering service. And spam filtering works in conjunction with what are called MX records. And MX records are what tell different servers on the internet how to deliver email. So right now, in this configuration, our MX records point to our gateway server at SciGym. Now if we use a spam filtering service, how this works is there's a third party, we'll call this the filter, and how it works is instead of pointing my MX records here, I tell my MX records to go to the filtering service. So the bad guy, uh, he looks up and he says, oh, well, the mail actually goes to this filtering device here. And then the filter takes on all the processing, sorts out the good mail from the bad mail, and then delivers us only the clean, good mail. So why would you want to use one model versus the other? Uh, traditionally, this is what's been done, uh, but people are starting to move more to this filtering-based approach, and let's talk a little bit about why. Uh, the first is there's no updating to be done. Any updates that are done are done here. So there's no updating of software, there's no updating of gateways, there's less physical uh, equipment on site. And since these filtering services process so much email, uh, they can respond much quicker to threats. So for example, this filtering service may be filtering a you know, billion messages a day, and they can start to see trends like, oh, well, this bad guy right here, not only is he sending bad mail to side you, he's trying to send it to 10,000 other organizations. So you know what, we're going to block this guy altogether, not even process any of his mail because we know it's all junk. Um, Another interesting thing about using a service like this is you can limit the amount of bandwidth that's used for email. Uh, when I first heard this argument, it sounded kind of silly to me. I didn't think we were actually using that much for, or anybody for that matter, was using that much of their bandwidth for spam messages. So it didn't seem like a convincing argument until we went on site to a customer. And this particular customer said, uh, my, my server is performing badly. He was in a configuration like this where he had a server and local spam filtering software installed on his server. He says, I'm having all these problems, uh, my server's not responding, but I'm not really getting that much spam. I don't, I don't really think that's the issue. So we looked and indeed his inbox maybe had 10 spams a day. It was a 30 person organization. It really didn't seem like that big a deal. But when we put the filtering service on, what we found was uh, even though he was only getting about 10 spams a day, the spammers were sending his organization literally over a thousand spam messages an hour. They were addressed to people that just weren't in his organization. But nonetheless, his server had to process all of that data. Uh, so what we found with a lot of our customers is that spam filtering is the way to go for them. Uh, it's fewer updates, they've gotten much better performance out of their systems, and uh, ultimately much less spam and they've been very happy. If you'd like to know more about spam filtering, please give us a call, SciGem 330-668-1660.